welcome to Jackie Blue Beauty Tips and welcome once again to my kitchen in Wisconsin and today I am going to talk about all the kind of oils to use um, for skin care and cooking and essential oils. It gets overwhelming every time you uh, read something on the internet or on YouTube it's talking about oils, what kind of oils to use on your skin. So. I just wanted to um, talk about some of the oils I've used and how I've incorporated them into my skincare and into other uses. So I hope this video will help you and I hope that you'll learn something. So here we go. First of all, I wanted to talk about my coconut oil. I did, have, did do a video on my virgin coconut oil, so if you're interested in more details on this product, click down below. But this is still my favorite oil. I use it all over my body after I shower um, or in the morning, and um, it's very moisturizing. I think it would help as you get older if you get that crepey skin. I think this would do the trick. I don't think you have to use expensive products to moisturize your skin. and. Um, this is natural and you can also use this for cooking and I think this is a really good oil. Now I don't use too much on my face because um, it's very oily and I tend to break out if I put too much oil on my face so I don't tend to use this. It's a very good oil to have in the house and to use. It's one of my favorites, my go-to oil. So. so this is a good thing I think every household should have. <laughs> Another oil is olive oil, and right now this isn't the virgin olive oil. I have bought um, cold pressed virgin olive oil, which is better for you than this. I, I bought this for cooking mainly. We need some oil in our diet and some fat, and this is a good oil. So I think every household should have this, at least for cooking. I used to use this all over my body too for a moisturizer, and it, it worked wonders too. This is an old Egypt. Um, beauty secret that they used years ago uh, women used all over their body you can use this on your face too a little goes a long way because it's very liquefied and that's the reason I switched to the coconut oil for my body because it's easier to apply and everything so but this you can use a little bit on your face too to moisturize this does this isn't supposed to plug your your skin as much and cause breakouts but still just very little bit. I feel like this is something everyone should have in their household um, for cooking and you could use it for a body moisturizer and um, on your face too. So this would be a good product that I would highly recommend. <laughs> Now also, I've been hearing so much about the essential oil. Essential oils for everything, essential oils for every ache you have, and there's so many good ones out there, and if you're um, interested more, you can research on it yourself. But I, I do use lavender, frankincense. This, this is supposed to be good for fine lines. So when I first started using it on my face, I tried it and it was, for me, it burns. So even if I put it with some coconut oil or moisturizer, when I just put it right on my face, it did burn. I don't use it that way. What I do do is I use a squirt bottle with a couple ounces of water and then some drops of each of this. And then I will use it like in the morning, right before I put on my makeup, or during the day, if your face is dry, you can just spritz a little on your face, but you don't want to get it in your eyes. So that's how I incorporate this into my skin. I also use essential oils for other things, like the lavender is really good, calming and very good to relax. Um, so I use this before bed. I'll put a little bit on my um, wrists, a little bit behind my ears, and sometimes a few drops on my pillow, and it's just very calming. So this is a good oil to have in your house for that too. I would highly recommend getting some of this. The frankincense is also good too. It is supposed to good be good like to it can be good for acne or to shrink tumors also. I'm trying this on my dog. She has a little tumor on her tummy, so I've been rubbing this on it. And I don't know if it's shrunk, but it certainly doesn't seem to be getting any bigger. There's a lot of good properties of oils. I also use tea tree oil. I also use peppermint oil. Um, they're for different things too, like peppermint oil is good for your sinuses if they're clogged. Eucalyptus oil is good. Um, just to sniff a little if you got a stuffy nose or sinus. So um, there's just so many good essential oils out there. And if you're interested, you can read up on them. Um, just know that they're very concentrated. You ha use very little of them. If you are applying it directly to your skin, I would suggest you have some kind of moisturizer or oil with it because they are very potent and concentrated. But yeah, so these are good uh, oils to have in your house. Also, I've been reading so much about the rosehip oil. 
that it's, it's, it's an oil that's really good for your skin and lines and anti-aging. So I picked this up at TJ Maxx. Five seven ninety nine, so cheap organic cold press, one hundred percent natural. So I figured it was a good one to try. So I've been using this. I did the first couple of times I put it on my face. I put it after moisturizer at night. I think I put too much on because I did have a few breakouts. So now I've been just putting it on every other day, and I'll just put a couple drops in the palm of my hand, and then I'll just kind of pat it on right before bed and let it soak in, and it, I don't seem to be breaking out now. So I've been using this every other night um, after my trio, after my light moisturizer. So I believe in easy skincare and simple, but I just wanted to try some of these other oils too, and like I haven't been using it too long, so I'll let you know you know, if I think it's helping or anything. Also, I got some vitamin C serum. I've been reading about that. I also got this at TJ Maxx. It was only $5.99. So I don't want to use these both at the same time. So I use every other night I, I do the same thing. This is also an oil. I just put a little bit in the palm of my hand and pat it on after my moisturizer at night. So, so I kind of wanted to try these and get these into my skincare. So that's what I've been doing with these. Also, they, they sell them in dark bottles. You want to keep them out of the light because the dark bottles will keep them from spoiling. If they, if this product spoils, then it won't work on your face anymore. So um, that's why they sell them. And the, you want to keep them in the direct sunlight so that you can use them. And I heard if the vitamin C oil actually turns orange or brown, then it's spoiled and not to use it anymore. It should be kind of clear. So that's another tip I learned from reading. Also, I wanted to talk about. The Argan oil, now some people use this on their face too, I don't. It's another oil that I've been reading about that is good for you. I use this on the ends of my hair after I wash and condition it and it's wet. Then I put it on my hand and just scrunch it on the end. So I, I use this on my hair too. So this is another oil that I highly recommend. Here we go, those are the oils that I've been trying to get into my skincare. Um, I believe in using natural products and I don't believe in spending a lot of money on products, cosmetics that have these ingredients in because then they're mixing them and they're using additives and they're charging a lot of money. I feel like you can get the same thing just going to the health food store or the grocery store or somewhere else and just getting the products that they're full of the, the good stuff and reasonable and I think that's the way to go. Um, for skin products. I believe in not spending a lot of money and trying to be as natural as possible with with skin care. Yeah, so that's my video for today. I hope it helped you on, you know, maybe some oils to try into your skin care and please comment and get back to me what oils you've used and if you've had success, I'd be interested to know. So I hope that you're having a good day, that you're staying healthy. I hope you're eating healthy. I hope that you are taking care of yourself. I believe that the things that we need to do is eat healthy, exercise, have a good attitude, and uh, those are the keys of successfully living and the things that are going to help us as we grow older. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> and um, like <laughs> so yeah so that's my video today i'll be coming to you again with another beauty tip and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to try some of these oils for today so i'll talk to you soon so bye bye love you all peace out